Barbara's Rhubarb Kitchen. Welcome to the Rhubarb Kitchen. Today we're making my all-time favourite rhubarb recipe, a rhubarb version of the classic baked cheesecake. It might be very calorific, but our local Grove Forest rhubarb really is something to celebrate. Get the oven on, just a medium oven that's about 180 centigrade. And let's get the fiddly bit done first. You'll need a 20 centimetre loose bottom or spring form baking tin, and even if it's non-stick, line the base with baking parchment. Dice the rhubarb. Dice size is about right. You want a bit of texture in the cheesecake as a contrast to that creamy luxuriance. Okay, now you put that into a pan and add 100 grams of caster sugar. You shouldn't need to add any liquid, there's plenty in the rhubarb, but do keep an eye on it and stir it occasionally. You don't want it to caramelise, just poach it gently for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. When it's ready, strain through a sieve, but keep the juice you are draining off, because if you like that sort of thing, you can keep it to pour over the cheesecake. If you are really being chefy, you can use it as the base of a coolie. Time to make the base. Crush the digestive biscuits to a fine crumb. Then melt 50 grams of butter in a pan. Take it off the heat and stir in the crushed biscuits. Then tip the mixture into your lined baking tin. Press it down with the back of a spoon. Then put it in the fridge to chill. Now the cheesecake mix. In a bowl, whisk together the mascarpone, corn flour, three medium eggs and 75 grams of caster sugar. Then carefully fold in the strained rhubarb. Tip the mixture onto the biscuit base and it's ready for the oven. Bake for 40 minutes. You want it to be set but still with a slight wobble. Cool it in the tin and serve with cream or creme fraiche and the reserve juice if desired. Enjoy. <laughs>